just got to get the property taxes um, 2004. Yeah. Um, yeah. empty but it's a Tuesday so alright guys so I watched the book of Henry and I was really excited for this movie I don't know whether it was the original screenplay or the premise which really caught my interest so I went to this screening and I stood in line for two hours what did I think about the movie so in the book of Henry we have Naomi Watts who is taking care of her children both her children she's a single mother of course both of her children are Jacob Tremblay and the main or not main character the title character henry and, and henry is a child prodigy he's the smartest kid in his class and he's basically doing all the bills around for his mom and of course their neighbors who is actually basically the commissioner of this town where they live in and of course his stepdaughter who is played by matt maddie zingler zingler how about i hope i said that right i don't have my backup phone to look at the names but she's in dance moms or whatever that show is called and henry basically sees him abusing his own stepdaughter and that's where the movie basically has a dark turn so this movie is directed by colin chevrolet who directed jurassic world and i really like jurassic world and it's just really weird to see him go from something like Jurassic World, the, one of the highest grossing films of all time, to something a bit more smaller and independent like Book of Henry. But after Book of Henry, his next movie that he's directing is Star Wars Episode Eight. So he's, of course, after this, going back to the big blockbusters franchise type thing. And this movie is original. It's written by Greg Harowitz and... I really do see where this movie would actually look really good on paper. But once you actually see how the film is put together, even though yes, it looks really good on paper, it, it just doesn't really look good as a film. So with that being said, I was really disappointed with the book of Henry. As I mentioned earlier, I was really excited for this movie. I don't know whether it was the original screenplay or the premise but it, I was just really hooked onto this story in the trailers and actually seeing the movie it's not always about what you see in the trailers because basically if you've seen this movie they spent more time focusing on another problem in this movie rather than the main problem that you're there to see and if you see the or if you've seen the movie you know what part I'm talking about. I'm not going to say because it is a spoiler and I know people still want to see this movie. But it just doesn't really focus as much on this, you know, child abuse situation in this movie. Don't get me wrong. I thought the acting was fantastic in this movie. Naomi Watts, I really bought her as the single mother who has to raise both of her children by herself. I thought she did fantastic in that role and she definitely nailed it. And Jacob Tremway who is once again proving that he could really act at a really young age and he has a really bright future ahead of him. And same goes for the kid who plays Henry. He has a really bright future ahead of him and I thought he was fantastic. Definitely one of the best things about this movie. He, he just really by him as a child prodigy and he does stunning in this role. Just that I don't think that, I, I didn't think that this is a good way to start off his acting career with the book of henry so i really hope that he gets casted in more and better movies and definitely a talent you should be looking out for later in the future because he is fantastic maddie zeigler i thought she did a really good job and even though she doesn't have much dialogue in this movie definitely her movements and all that that she does in this movie definitely tell you more about her character and what her character has been going through so I thought she did a really good job at that. And Dean Norris as the, you know, Maddie Ziegler's uh, stepfather in this movie who was abusing her. He, 
his character is flat and he, he's predictable and you just don't really like his character that much obviously because of the child abuse but I thought he was definitely great in the acting department and Sarah Silverman she's okay her character isn't really important to the movie except that she's Naomi's Naomi Watts friend in this movie that's really all you get from her character so she could have definitely have been better but she was okay another big problem that I had with this movie is definitely the tone change and it's a problem that I had with the trailer as well but I just thought they were gonna do a better job with it in the movie and it's actually much worse in the actual final film and the reason why is because in the beginning of the movie and you know basically the first act it really acts like a really innocent movie about a family and after a while just quickly it just takes a really dark turn into this um, serious matter and really after that it takes a darker turn into really more of a I'm not gonna spoil anything but it just takes a darker turn with something a bit more serious and then of course that happens and it goes back to the serious matter of the film the child abuse and then it just kind of gets crazy and just really messy from there I mean we see it in the trailer basically the third act is when Naomi Watts is basically kind of having a plan to murder the commissioner who is the child abuser in this movie and you're just like are they even thinking this through there's definitely a better solution than killing him you know we know that he works for the police and all of that but basically you could still report him and it's still a crime either way so there really isn't a reason to kill him and just killing him is just a really ridiculous solution to this problem and here's where it gets even more ridiculous it wasn't even Naomi Watts who had the plan to kill this guy it was Henry and the reason why I say that that's much worse is because you know we get it that the kid is smart and that he has some good ideas but you shouldn't always be taking advice from your smart kid because you are the mother and what this kid is telling you to do is to kill this guy and you just can't right away say okay that's a good idea let's just do this there's another solution to this and you should definitely try that solution rather than just saying okay I'm gonna kill him just because you're smart just because you're, you said so it's just really dumb and quite idiotic of the movie itself to actually address and you know what excuse this movie uses to avoid everything I just said? Oh, this guy's the commissioner of this town and no one's gonna believe you because he's the commissioner. Enough with that bullshit. It's still a crime. And this movie is treating child abuse as if it's a joke. Overall, guys, I was just really disappointed by this film. And it sounded good on paper, but once you actually see how they interpret this movie on screen it's just quite lazy and just bullshit they just take the easy way out the it's just pretty lazy if you ask me and it's not really taking child abuse serious as it's supposed to take it again it's just really treating it as a joke also i predicted the ending 40 minutes before the movie even ended so in my rating system the book of henry i'd say that's definitely out of your mind forgettable and that's why I'm going to give The Book of Henry a C-. It's mainly the acting and the dialogue that the characters had to say that just really kind of saved this movie. But I just didn't really like this movie that much. So, other than that, have you guys seen The Book of Henry? If you haven't seen it, I do not recommend seeing this movie. Theaters, especially with movies like Wonder Woman now. Yeah, see that instead. But this is a movie you could catch on TV and it'd be okay, I guess. Especially for the acting. Again, the performances really save this movie, but it's just not really a good movie. But if you guys seen it, please let me know what you guys thought about it down below. And like always, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys for my next movie day.